Hey guys, uh, welcome back with another Cooper Space Program video. Uh, today I'll be showing off the space shuttle. This is just a typical space shuttle. The only difference is uh, I have these jet engines because rocket engines just chew up this fuel like crazy. I'm surprised the guys at you know squad didn't have different types of these uh, fuselages. Because this fuselage is it's just made for jets, not for for rockets. But I, I I did something else to combat that. I'll show you later on. Let's launch this thing. It's quite fast. I was surprised it actually worked. Mm. Now right here. I don't think this will work. No, this probably won't work. No fuel will actually go to it. No, it won't work. <laughs> well, the reason why it's not working is because it's just the coupler. It's in the way. So I'm going to remove that decoupler. And fix it up. Let's do that. Da -na -na -na. There we go. All fixed. <laughs> All fixed. Let's hope it doesn't break. I have to fix these wheels up as well. Yeah, that will do. We don't want to have it that too low because these engines will scrape on the ground and smash. Uh, I've got some of these things as well. Help out when we go to high altitude. The uh, RCS. RCS fuel is right there with nose cap and, air d and the uh, avionics package. Just a couple wings. That's it. Let's launch. Da -na 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 -na. I love that jet sound. Sounds so cool. Alright. T, full throttle, space bar. It's like a bus, this thing. And it goes very straight. Oh, look. Almost perfectly straight. You can lift up now. See? I'm gonna go, like, let's go straight up. Watch the engines. Color they do Look at the color. It's more and more orangey, light orange color. That doesn't happen usually. And it's maybe because it's overheating, but I don't get how it overheats. You know, if you want to stop the overheating, if you have a look on the, the throttle, you just have to have it underneath that line. If you have it underneath the line, it won't overheat. Because if you go over the line, I think that's just over 100% uh, throttle. So look how fast we went. 400 almost per second. Meters per second. So that's pretty good. Let's try and straighten this thing out. No. I don't think I can fix this. Yeah. Tick. Come on, RCS, you can do it. Come on, please, stay there. And click the RCS to turn it off. Alright. We're pretty high up, I have to admit. I tried to add some boosters, rocket boosters, but they didn't help out with the aerodynamics and the controlling of this space vehicle. <laughs> and our wheels are still out, aren't they? <laughs> Work with G to fix that. We should be falling down now. Yeah. We're catching on some speed. Uh, the airflow be pretty high eventually. Here we are. Activated now. You can just hear it, you know when it's, when it's starting to work. Let's set this up a bit. Leave it on 10. Okay. 
Yes, this thing is going good. Excellent. So we want to stay at this level right now. Six hundred meters per second. Pretty good. And that's just three engines. Usually three engines for me doesn't get that fast. Maybe because of the overheating. Because it's still overheated. And I don't get why the airflow just does that. And we're acceler accelerating to Let's see if we can reach 700 meters per second. All long, Kerman, Kenlin, we have Kenlin, all long and Ronzi, Kerman, we, we have never had before. Yeah, so we didn't reach 700 meters per second, but this is good enough, and we're not going to find land for a while. Let's see. Yeah. The fuel, uh, the fuel might make it. Probably. I've never been there before. I don't, if I ever go there, I'll have that on video. Let's try and crash land. G. No, don't do that. Come, huh, huh. No. Oh, whatever. Straight down, please. If I can go straight down, I'll be able to control it. Alright, we're turning for some reason. This will do. I've got control. <laughs> Overheating is decreased. Wow, weirdness. Let's try and lift up a bit. Have we survived? Yes, we have. It's not a crash landing, guys. I take that back. Not yet. Get down, please. Whoa, whoa. Please, no. It's alive. Haha, <laughs> we made it again. And we are going super fast. See, I don't get it. Look at this, dear. It's really weird. Damn. No, no. <laughs> oh, that was unfortunate. Well, you can't land on water yet in this game. That's disappointing. I know the f some of the fuselages are like floaties. But, yeah, that's it. Alright, I'll be back, guys. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm back again. Uh, this is a different model for the space shuttle. I have the fuel tanks, real large ones, right, um, instead of these fuselages that are, are used on space shuttles, and uh, you can see the difference, uh, if I can get on, you replace one temporarily, you can see the difference, it's, this is a space shuttle, this is just for rocket fuel, but I, I try to make it look as real as possible, it's pretty heavy, Ro rocket fuel is very heavy, I can put these now, these rockets. I've got these uh, boosters. Ooh, what do you what do you call them? Is that yeah, solid fuel booster that will eject uh, once I've just left the runway. And this thing has went into space, and I have went in orbit as well, successfully. So we can give that a try. Let's go for it. Looking 
good. <laughs> Alright, T. Full throttle. Let's hope this doesn't scrape. Space bar. I don't think there are any wheels back here, are there? If we lift up, it might actually smash. Smash the pieces this part. I don't know want to take the risk yet. When I get the end of the runway, I'll take off. So that's bang. Try that again, but this time let's put some damn wheels back here. <laughs> oh. I can't use symmetry on this because um, with jets, for some reason it just doesn't work. I'll show you guys now. Look, symmetry. It puts it right there. See, look at that. We don't want it there. Or do we? Will it work like that? We'll give it a try. <laughs> Use something that's bad. That's a good thing. For for rockets, it's totally different. Uh, let's hope this works. I've even got support connectors here. Oh yeah, that looks better. And we're gonna... Shit. Come on, that's great. <laughs> oh, I gotta fix that up again. Do I? I have wings on this too. Let's put some more. More standard canards. One there. Another one here. Bit wonky there, but oh, who gives it damn? Let's go. This better work. And now. Bang. Do not want to get that. Please, I just want to lift up. Let's try to lift up now. Come on, no, no, no. No. You're not gonna break on me. Oh no. No. And I'm still holding S. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Whee! Oh, what the? What the hell is going on here? It wasn't like that before. I'm serious. This thing actually went in space. Must be just lift rating. I can't do anything about that. It's got as many wings there. Damn, let's just add some here. There you go. 0 0.7 lift rating. Yeah. Let's go. More weight too. Not good. This thing better work. Is it just me, or does the background of these kerbals change with the different capsules? I think it does. Yeah, look, this guy's in the middle, and now the kerbals are on the side. You can see their heads. Better work. Right, I'm gonna get ready to deselect T. And now. I clicked space bar just in case. I, I just rigged out that. Come on. We want to go straight up from this point. Alright, let's take the tick off. Oh, what's up? We haven't got the RCS on, do we? No, we don't have the fuel, so it won't work. Oh well. Anyway. Our goal here is to go up. Yep. And let's check these wheels. Right. Three engines. These things are red hot. I've never seen it that red before. Unless I haven't actually looked at the engines before. 
uh, the fuel is going good. Looks like we're just rushing along the wind. We're going straight up. Yeah, it's pretty much a straight line. Well, the wind is helping. Hopefully. And by why here in altitude, we should have been should have been there by now. What I'd like to see in this game is when you come back down for re-entry from space, you know how the effects of the fire, your capsule should be on fire as you enter down in a certain altitude, I'm not sure what altitude that is, but if it does happen, that'd be so cool. Just a bit, no, yes, yes, and we're screwed. I stopped it up, sorry. Oh, whatever. <laughs> well, we're not going to space today. I don't think. Oh, we just did a backflip. Or a front bit. It's quite fast. We're going faster than the other space shuttle. That's good. Fuel was lasting a while. That's a random one. Yeah, not bad. Pretty good. I really thought we were going to stuff up before. If we can get 2,400 meters per second, we're in orbit. Well, we just did. We're not in orbit. Because of the positioning. Oh, we almost made it. Almost. This is, this is our, our orbit. We will crash land. If we had if we had the ability to adjust it a bit more, we would have been in orbit. So, let's see. What's the name of this, this thing here? What's, what's this one? Space Shuttle M2. Yeah, that's the other one that I did. Let's double click that. And it's loading. Here it is. This is the other one that actually went in orbit. Same design, just, just, just luck, I suppose. And as you can see, perfect. This one's going around. It looks pretty. And what you can do here is you can fast forward and get a lag fest. See that? Looks good. Whee! <laughs> and is it just me or do we have more fuel? No. Let's slow down, see if we can use more fuel. No. It says there is still fuel left, but I think that's just a glitch. You have to leave it out for too long. It will be tricked. Uh. Hmm. Well. Whoa. And this thing would just go on forever. Keep them encircling. Kerbin. Having fun. very heavy and that's about it thanks for watching guys I uh, hope you liked the episode uh, have a nice day